Spectra Energy, the third largest U.S. pipeline operator, reported first quarter earnings this morning, beating analyst estimates due to earnings from expansion projects and also stronger commodity prices. Bloomberg is the first network to bring you a live interview with Spectra Energy CEO Greg Ebel. Since the earnings released just about an hour ago, Greg joining us now from the company's headquarters in Houston. Greg, always glad to have you on with us. Thanks for joining us. Your business, we know, is 100 percent onshore, but you do have a market market hub in Louisiana. How worried are you about the current crisis? Are, are you confident the situation is being managed correctly? Well, first of all, the, the big issue, the big tragedy here is the loss of life, and that's uh, our condolences go out to those families, obviously. From a business perspective, we're not in the oil business, we're not in the E&P business, so our market hub partners' uh, uh, work there is a, is a gas storage field, and I wouldn't expect any disruptions to that operations as a result of this tragedy. Now, Greg, we know that you had a pretty strong quarter here, and part of it is on the strength of commodity prices. Do you see that continuing for the rest of the year? Well, we'll have to see. You know, we, we forecasted oil to be in about the $80 range, and it's about in that range, and that natural gas, liquids, propane, uh, ethane, et cetera, would be about $0.95 cents a gallon, and they seem to be in line as well. I think the benefit is we got a running start to the year with this first quarter. Our Western Canadian business was up about 50 percent. Our gas processing business here in the United States was up about 600 percent uh, quarter on quarter, and our gas pipeline business, which you mentioned is bringing on a number of expansion projects, was up over 10 percent. So. That's a great start to the year. One quarter does not a year make, but uh, we're on our way to, to, uh, to uh, very good results for the year. Greg, what are you factoring in? What are your internal experts modeling for the price of natural gas for this year and oil? Well, we look at, as I said, oil around $80 a barrel, uh, and uh, we look at gas in the 4 to $6 range over the longer term. Whether or not that actually, uh, you know, where it is between 4 and 6 for the year, uh, that's less of a concern for us on an annual basis because, obviously, we build in infrastructure for the long term 20 30 years and that four to six dollar range for gas seems to be very positive for consumers and uh, positive for producers as well particularly well, given the abundant natural gas in the United States and Greg we know I guess we should just point out to the viewers who maybe don't know that disparity between the oil and natural gas prices the greater that disparity essentially the more money you make do you see uh, the relationship between the two averaging at least 50 percent for the rest of the year well right I mean we, we look at about 50 I think it's just a little bit below that right now, natural gas liquids to oil. But I think you, you uh, will definitely see as the economy picks up, you continue to see some pressure on commodity prices. And for a, a part of our business, that's, uh, that's very helpful, obviously, particularly our gas processing business in the United States. So are you hedging to try to lock in and, and sort of protect this ratio as much as possible? No, we're not hedgers, actually. We, uh, we uh, provide very clear uh, guidance to uh, our investors as to the impact of commodity price moves, and we don't hedge. Um, it, uh, that part of our business only represents about 20 percent of the business, so we found that over the long term, shareholders are better served by not hedging out that and let them make a decision as to where they, they see gas and oil prices going over the longer term. Greg, the last time you were on with us, you mentioned you were looking into $1 billion worth of expansion properties or expansion opportunities, rather, in 2010. Is that what you continue to look at, and then what happens 2011-2010? Sure, and absolutely. We continue to, uh, we will put in service about a billion dollars worth of projects this year. We brought two of them in service in the first quarter. Uh, we've had approvals for uh, several others here in the first quarter. Uh, we've just signed additional projects, a new power project in Tennessee, a uh, new project uh, to move gas out of the Appalachian region into New York. Uh, and I would expect that over the next five years, we'll spend about a billion dollars uh, each and every year, and that'll produce six to seven hundred million dollars in, uh, in additional earnings, which will bring to about a billion dollars in the first, uh, call it, uh, five uh, to seven years that Spectre Energy has been a public company. Greg, we thank you very much for your time. Greg Ebel, thank CEO you. of Spectra Energy.